Did a metal rod really terrify an entire city? In 1752, Benjamin Franklin's lightning rod was poised to change the world. Why? Because fires sparked by lightning devastated wooden cities, and Franklin's invention promised a new kind of safety. But as the first rods pierced church steeples in Philadelphia, panic quickly spread. Residents whispered that these rods defied divine will. After all, wasn't lightning the wrath of the heavens? Priests thundered warnings from pulpits, while some citizens frantically yanked rods from roofs, fearing they'd invite disaster instead of prevent it. The technical term grounding, channeling electricity safely into the earth, became a fierce battleground for faith and science. Rumors swirled that protected buildings were struck more often, fueling hysteria and suspicion. Yet, as more homes with rods survived violent storms unscathed, skeptics faced an uncomfortable truth. Science worked. The chaos eventually faded, but the controversy left deep scars, sparking lasting debates on faith, technology, and humanity's power to shape nature itself. Mind-blowing, right? If you're hooked, hit subscribe and come back tomorrow.